Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Junkyard, I'm Ian the Junkonet and today I have a very fun video for you because I've decided to challenge myself to a 20 minute recurve bow build challenge. I'm pretty confident that if I was making a traditional uh, straight longbow design, something like this, that I wouldn't have very much trouble getting it inside of 20 minutes at all, maybe even 10. Uh, but a recurve that curves back on itself requires a lot more heat forming and bending and that's going to be tricky. So I don't know if I can do it. We're going to see how close we can get. It should be fun. So let's get to it. I am going to be using a heating trough and a flattening jig in this video. I'm not including the making of those in the 20 minutes. Those are things that I've already made previously. If you want to see how I've done that, you can check out uh, my 45 pound PVC bow build video down below. It makes those at the beginning of the video. We're zeroed out and I'm going to start it in three, two, one, go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be starting with is a piece of uh, Schedule 40 three quarter inch PVC, and we are gonna be starting with a, a length that looks to be about 51 inches, and we are going to measure uh, 25.5 inches and mark the center point there, and then we're actually gonna mark about two inches on either side of that. This is gonna be our handle portion right here, and we're gonna um, go ahead and start to flatten each one of these limbs by first heating it up with our heating trough and our heating guns. Definitely floppy. All right, All right that one's flattened out mostly. I've decided to make one caveat into the, uh, the rules of the challenge. Um, the time that the bow has to rest after being heated so that it, it will actually retain that new shape that you're putting in, I'm going to pause the clock because we're going to be losing, you know, easily three to five minutes every time we do that. Let's go ahead and put this one in here. The hardest thing about this challenge, besides just going fast, is we're not going to have time to recorrect any improper bends that we get. So anything that ends up being uh, off center, it's just gonna have to basically stay that way. 538, going now. Uh, this is in my opinion the trickiest portion of making a recurve. Um, we're gonna be flattening the uh, limbs and folding them onto our, themselves. And it's just a little tricky. We are getting a little bit of uh, heat cracking on one side. We're just going to have to go with it and see see how it does. Put a little bit of a bend this way. We're at 923. We're starting it back up. All right, now we need to flatten out the middle of the handle. Okay. And as soon as we get this where it's, um, it's starting to flatten where we want, so we've got the tips of the recurve, they're pointing down. We're actually gonna put the, um, some even more recurve into the edge of the limbs that are by the handle. We've got uh, seven minutes. Stopped at 1629. Uh, I think we, we barely overheated this one. That's really unfortunate because it means that it's wanting to uh, take off the taper here. Ooh, God, that's hot. Ooh. We have approximately three and a half minutes and there will be no more stops in this build. All right, let's do it. And we are going to file our uh, arrow knocks in here. We're gonna put them the front side of the bow. Another two and a half minutes here. Okay, let's get our string. We're gonna pull out than the length of our bow, maybe about six inches more. It doesn't need to be a whole foot. And the knife. 
Two minutes left. We are going to burn the ends here. All right, the uh, way that you knot these is you take a long loop and you fold it over onto itself. We have 90 seconds here, guys, 90 seconds. And we are going to loop this onto one side of the bow here. We're gonna line up how much we need it to bend. Uh, we're gonna start with a loop about the where the other end meets. All right, it needs to be shorter. Realize that the uh, bow uh, knock points or whatever you want to call them are too small. We've got to cut them a little bit deeper. Don't have any time. And time. Push the wrong button. Okay, time. <laughs> Still just a hair too long. Well, that was much more difficult than I was anticipating. And uh, I did take about one minute afterwards just to get the string right. But other than that, it was all done in the 20 minutes, all of the working time. You see that it is strong, a good, uh, good length. It is fairly off center. But if we had a few more minutes, we would fix these bends right here but we're gonna try and shoot it as is, just because that was what the challenge was. And we have a one by two foot target about uh, 35, 40 feet away. <laughs> Don't worry about that, we're taking that building down anyways. Huh? Let's do it one more time, taking it about another 20 feet back. Every time. There we go. This is not a great bow. What I am confident about is another 5, 10, or maybe 15 minutes of corrections, and you could definitely make it function way better. You can really feel it start to bend in on itself because it's not totally straight. Um, and that, that does throw off your aim, it throws off your draw, but like I said, there's human error in there for sure. It's a bow I've never shot before, and I'm not even that in practice at the moment anyways. Um, so for 20 minutes, I think we did pretty good. If it was a 30 minute challenge uh, or an hour, it, we probably could have gotten it right in there. But uh, for now, that's all I have for you guys. I really appreciate you watching. I hope this inspired you to go out and make something for yourself because even if you make a mistake, it's just fun to learn and to make stuff. I mean, the Joker Knot, thank you for stopping by and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Yeah.